Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm going to do a more in-depth dive into the 2023 Chevy Colorado Trail Boss. Um, this, so being that this Trail Boss package, I want to just kind of go over what it actually came with from the factory and what some items that are, are still in order. So um, the vehicle price uh, out the door with all the options is $42,895. Um, so this came with a technology package, the advanced trailing package, Trail Boss Convenience Package number two, the safety package, remote start kit, which is dealer installed remote start kit. Um, that is still on back order. So from my understanding is it gets shipped with the Colorados. However, because of some shortages, it's coming behind, but it will be shipped to the dealer and the dealer will install it. Um, the 2.7 liter turbo high output uh, calibration, which is also dealer installed. And from, again, talking with the dealership, service should be getting a basically either a USB drive or some sort of ECU flash or a specific tune for uh, this truck. All right, um, we also have the Trail Balls convenience package, which adds that rear window in there, um, and it's uh, defrosting and able to slide. Uh, these are also um, electronic and uh, easy to, they're electronic so you can move them around, and they also are heated with the blind spot monitoring and all that. Uh, it's got the generator, 220 amps, front license plate mount. So, as you can see in a nutshell, it comes with quite a few of the packages. The only thing I didn't get was the skid plate package, and I had the dealer um, install the steps, and these are kind of nice because it's a little high up for, <laughs> for Jessa to, to jump up. But right now, these are running the 265 Goodyears. Um, uh, however, I did order the 275 70R18 Nido Trail Grapplers, so they are going to replace those. It'll remain on the same rims. So all in all, I, I want to just talk about my first impressions. A lot of people are, you know, saying that they're overpriced and all that and that stuff. So um, if you think about it, though, the mid-sized truck range. Um, is got a lot of stuff. So it's obviously it's competitors probably the Toyota Tacoma. Um, I personally ran a Toyota Tacoma and I was not impressed with the power output. It was slow, had no trailing package, didn't have uh, any kind of options to actually do any kind of pulling. And when I did pull with it, it was always a high RPM and, and drowning out the, the driver as far as like noise from the engine. But this, this engine is a 2.7 liter. It's the same as they have it push it in the full size Silverados. It's running 310 horsepower, 391 foot pounds of torque. Once the dealer installs the tune, it's going to be 430 foot pounds of torque with 7,700 pounds of tra uh, trailing capacity, towing capacity. And it's approximately 1,450 pounds of uh, uh, weight in the bed. So um, it's uh, quite large. It's almost, I would say, is large. Almost, it's it's a little smaller than the regular Silverados. Obviously, a full-size Silverado Trail Boss uh, is going to be bigger. But um, all in all, if you buy a full-size Silverado Trail Boss with the same packages, with 11.3-inch screen, with all these tech packages, you're looking at a 65 to 70 thousand dollar truck almost uh, right off the bat, unless it's used. Uh, but good luck finding a used one with all the tech packages. So all in all, I think you're getting a lot of bang for your buck with this truck. Um, I don't have any uh, gas mileage uh, stats for you right now. I uh, haven't put enough miles on it yet. But I was talking about, some people were talking about this. If I upgrade the tires, I may have to take this uh, wind skirt off. And this does, it just pops off with a couple bolts and um, and it, it'll it'll come off. And if you, you won't, you really can see that it's really not necessary. All it is is to enhance your uh, miles per gallon. I think right now it's averaging 15, just driving around town. So sorry if you hear the, the pup in the back. She's she's having a, a fit with us over here. <laughs> so <laughs> um, we're gonna try to take it off road. But here in we're in Virginia uh, on the on the eastern coast, so we're in Virginia Beach area. So there's not a whole lot of places unless I you know go north or all the way south or west. Um, so we're gonna try to. Wanna show them that and again. One thing I did forget to mention, babe, if you can come around this way, this does have under seat storage, so you can pop that up. And uh, I'm sure they're gonna make some mods later. 
where it'll be, you know, bigger or better, or, you know, maybe produce something else. And then if you want it to go down, it has a little lever here and it just flops down. Um, I did order some uh, seat covers for these and I'll eventually get some uh, mats in the back, but, uh, cause we want to put the puff in the back, but, uh, yeah, so that does come up. Um, it does have halogen lights in the front and, you know, just like any, uh, vehicle, new vehicle, they're, they'll come out with some mods where you could probably make them LED, which isn't a big deal for us. We're primarily going to use this for, um, you know, on-road, off-road use, um, but mostly off-road towing. So we didn't get the Z71 for that fact. We wanted the wider body stance and a little bit bigger tires and lift on it. Uh, this is not a factory spray and bed liner. This is actually done at the Chevy dealership. The one thing I did forget to mention on the build sheet is this did come with the bed liner and with the integral storage, which is 395. But a lot of those items are backed up from the factory. So basically I said, well, if it's not here, um, why don't we just refund me that money? Y'all keep it and spray my bed liner for me. And that's what they did. So they go, they went ahead and just sprayed the bed liner. And then once those parts arrive, um, the dealer will basically kick back that money to me that I, uh, that was on the actual build sheet from GM. So there's a couple of things you can do with this. With this, this is the easy lift tailgate. You got the storage here. We're just gonna hit it again. You got the storage here. It is water water resistant, right? Uh, it should stop all leakage. It's got a drain plug here, so you can put a bunch of stuff in here and tools or whatnot, whatever you want. Um, it also has the ability to uh, you can lift this up, and if you come to the side here, man, it can you can half up. The, the, bed, the, the tailgate here. So if you're carrying any kind of wood or anything like that, this will keep the bed half up. So you mm -hmm. can strap it down to any one of the toe points nice. that are in there without the bed being down. This bed, this the, the um, tailgate is very light. So if you do keep it down, there's no weight on it, and you hit a bump, it may just flop around quite easy. So it is, it is very um, light as you can see. Another cool feature that they put on these is uh, is the steps here. Um, you can step on that, and it's way, way easier to get up. I think I just uh, did it in the last video. Um, and of course, it's going to need some mud flaps eventually. So with that uh, convenience package, it gives you the sliding rear window here. So a sliding rear window, and it's got the whole back of the window is heated. Um, so you're able to, if it's snowing or what, whatnot, it's got ice on it, you're able to do that. So pretty easy all in all. Um, nice package. It's got a lot of um, a lot of room in the back. I'm 5'7", 180 pounds. Um, so I've got enough room back here. All right, so when you get in here, um, everything is plastic, okay? So, you know, you you take that price cut from the Z71 to the Trail Boss, and it does have the, the plastic on it. So, to me, that's not a big deal. You don't have as many fancy buttons as the Z71 either, but you do have your, your uh, mode selectors. You have your four-wheel drive, which is either push button, so you can push these in the mode and you spin this to uh, select uh, the the modes. Um, you got your electronic parking brake. Here you've got a uh, some storage here. Uh, this comes up pretty big in there and you got a, you got a cigarette lighter in there. So that's pretty large. Um, this is comfortable. So the width of this is comfortable. Obviously this is hard plastic, um, not too crazy. So when you do start this up, You've got all the new dashes and all the new screen. Make sure that's not gonna play. Um, so over here, if you can you see the dash on that? Um, it's got all the new display that you can see here. It's a pretty nice display. Um, I will do a video on how to navigate all that eventually. Um, but when you come over here, in order to hit the lights and everything, there's a quick reference guide here. So obviously running lights, lights, 
I keep it on auto. They got a quick guide there for it. Um, as we've mentioned before, um, it's got all of the other uh, fancy stuff so you can get access to Play Store. You got Apple CarPlay. The vehicle does have a Wi Fi hotspot through OnStar. Your Google Assistant is on it. Is on it. You have a, I have a full trailing app. The trailing brake is over here by my left knee. Um, uh, Google Maps. Um, and once you go over here into the to the drive menu, is you have all the 360 degree cameras. Um, you can see here, you've got the overview. Um, you have the back camera here. You can have the front, so it it, it lines up the front pretty well, the back pretty well. Um, and then you have your tires front and rear. So if you're ever doing anything like that, and then you have your 360 degree camera, which is super, super cool. And that comes um, with the tech package. You have the hill descent control, um, whether you're on hills or you're trailering with it. Uh, there is something cool that I wanted to show you guys. All right, so you have your vehicle info. Vehicle info, it'll show you, you know, basically everything with it. Uh, air filter use, it's really cool, right? <laughs> How it does that. Um, whoops, you can add that to the driver display. We can bring that back in. Brake pads, so pretty neat how it'll show you all this stuff. And it's all up here as well uh, to include your trip meter. So your your trip meter is up here as well. Let's head back to this. Uh, whoops, I'm gonna head. I am sorry, I'm still learning it too, right? So head back here. Um, this is sorry, this is the vehicle. This is overall information. So you have uh, vehicle controls which is where we were just at. And then you have the off-road stuff. So if anyone didn't know, this one has the Baja mode. So you obviously have your G-Force and your transfer case steering angle. You have terrain. It gives you your pitch roll PSI. And you have your overlanding, which is your compass uh, and your elevation, which is uh, really cool. Now, when you switch this knob here, if you put it up here, so you're gonna have different um, stuff. So off-road, you're gonna have tow haul mode, you're gonna have terrain mode, and um, it'll go, it'll head back to normal mode when you get back through it. So again, in order to switch that transfer case, you will push down on the actual buttons, okay? I'm not moving, I'm not gonna push them. So it's got a lot of options, and um, everything works really well. Um, and of course, I've got the Apple CarPlay, which is uh, on there. So pretty cool, um, all in all, really nice. Um, nice interior, cup holders here, cup holders here to the rear, and um, I'm going to order some seat covers and we'll be ready to go. So our next video is going to be a review of how it drives, how it sounds, uh, fuel mileage, and just overall our driving experience with the truck. Again, it's very new, I don't have a lot of miles on it, and uh, we're going to kind of go from there and give you uh, a review on how it drives. And then when I figure out how everything on the dash works, I'll also do a review on all of that, but I need to practice with it. So thank you for watching.